So one of the tools we have to manage space in uh, Linux systems and Ubuntu server is Logical Volume Management or LVM. <clears throat> Now, when you install Ubuntu, you have the option to install it with LVM, which is great. And when we did our demo install, that's what we did. Uh, we've also added a traditional volume to it in some of our previous videos. Now we're going to try to add another volume group, and we're going to create a logical volume on that volume group. Now we're just going to do a straight linear logical volume, but I want you to see a few other things as we go through the process. So. I'm going to start by adding some additional hard drives to the system. And I've added a couple of virtual disks to it. So I'm going to do an LS, get here, LSBLK to show my uh, list, of my block storage devices. And you're going to see here, we've got SDC and SDD, and we're not doing anything with them at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these to a logical volume group. Now, because I've set a... Or because I installed this using LVM, I already have a logical volume. So let's take a look at a couple of our display options first. So in this, we're going to have physical volumes, the volume group, and then logical volumes. So the physical volume is basically going to be your storage device. There can be a hard drive, physical hard drive, or a virtual hard drive if you're running a virtualized server. So I'm going to start by displaying that. So my command is going to be PV display, and that's going to show my, well, let me do this as user. So sudo su, because I'm going to have to do this a lot. So PV display, that'll work better. And you're going to see that I have a physical volume and it's currently SDA3. It's assigned to the volume group Ubuntu VG. This gives me my PV size and some more data about it. So I can also view my volume group with VG display. Now it will show me my current volume group, which is named Ubuntu VG. Now I can have multiple volume groups on a system. It's not going to be a problem. In fact, I'm going to create another one here in a minute. My format and then more information about my volume group. And then for logical volumes, it's LV display. And that'll show me my logical volume with the path, the VG name, the volume group. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two new devices, which are SDC and SDD, and I am going to treat them as physical volumes. So before I can create a volume group, I need to create these as physical volumes. Now, remember, the physical volume is a storage device. Then we group those into a volume group. And then from that volume group, we display logical volumes, which is where our users will actually store data. So I'm going to do the command PV create. And if I wasn't as root, I'd have to pseudo this. So it's going to be dev SDC. And that's going to associate that with that SDC with uh, LVM. And I'm going to do the same thing for SDD. Now, as we're doing this, think about storage spaces and windows. Because that's kind of analogous to the way this works. We take physical devices, we add them to a storage space, and from the storage space, we create volumes, and we can create volumes in different ways, right? Simple volumes or mirrored volumes, redundant volumes. All right, logical volume management gives us the same thing. So we just created two devices, and we added them to the logical volume management. So now if I do PV display, it will show me multiple devices. So I have SDA, which is associated with the Ubuntu VG volume group. I have SDC and SDD, and notice neither of these are associated with the volume group yet. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my volume group. And the command is going to be VG create. So volume group create. I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to do VG sales. We're going to make this a volume group that's used by our sales department. And then I'm going to associate a device with it. So dev SDC. And hit enter. So that creates my volume group sales. And I'm not going to add the second volume to it. We're going to talk a little bit later about how we can extend that volume. We're going to do that in another video here in just a little bit. So now I can do PV display. And that's going to show me my physical volumes. And now you're going to see that SDC is associated with VG sales. SDD still is, and I haven't added that. But this one is associated with the VG sales. 
So now that I've created my volume group, let's do a VG display here real quick too. And that's going to show me my volume groups. And you're going to see it kind of scrolled off there. So I'm going to do VG display. And then I'm going to specify, I want to look at my volume group VG sales. And that'll show me my volume group, my format. You see, I have currently one physical volume and one currently active. I have no logical volumes. Now notice it says max physical volumes is zero. Max logical volumes is zero. That doesn't mean you can't have any. What that means is it's not limited at the moment. So now I need to create a logical volume group uh, or a logical volume. And for that, we're going to use LV create. Now, before I run the command, I want to clear this here. I want to do LV create and I'm going to do dash H. Now we're going to create a simple one, but I want you to see some of what's available here. So we can create a linear volume group, a striped volume group, a RAID one or mirrored volume group. We can create a RAID volume group. We can create a RAID 10 volume group, thin pools, snapshots. All right, you see that we have a lot of flexibility here in the way that we can create our volume groups. And this is one of the big advantages of uh, logical volume management is it lets us create volumes in a variety of different ways, including the mirrored and RAID volume groups for redundancy. So, or logical volumes for redundancy. Now, obviously I only have a single drive here. So on a single drive, I can't do a mirrored or a rated uh, logical volume. I would need multiple physical volumes in order to be able to do that. So I wanna create a simple volume group. Let me try that again. I wanna create a simple logical volume. So it's gonna be LV create. So PV physical volume create and create display for each one, PV for physical volumes, LV for logical volumes, VG for volume groups. So the command syntax is really similar. And if we remember that we have physical volumes that go into volume groups from which we create logical volumes, that should help us remember what command to use for what we wanna look at anywhere in that process. So I'm gonna create a logical volume. I'm gonna give it the name sales if I can spell sales correctly. And then I want to create it as a linear volume group and I want it to be 100 megabytes. And I'm going to give it the name. Let's just do sales. Actually, let's do LV dash sales, just so we identify that that's a logical volume. And whoops, sorry, I forgot. I gave it the wrong thing. VG dash sales. I got to tell it which um, I said the name is sales. Let me set that as LV dash sales. There we go. And then the uh, volume group that I'm working with. So we're creating this on the logical uh, volume group uh, VG sales. So that creates our LV sales. So now I can do LV logical volume display. And that will show me all of them. And this actually all fits on one page, so we won't specify which one, although we could have. So I've got a logical volume named LV Sales that's based in the volume group VG Sales. I've got the Ubuntu one here. We'll ignore that because this was created when we did the install. So now that I, let's say I want to explore that this at this point, I have my um, volume name, logical volume name. I can go back now that I found my volume group and I can do VG display for VG sales. And I can display my volume group. If I want to see which volumes are associated with it, I know one of them is, that would be PV display. And I can view, spell display correctly. Ah, <sighs> see if I can type here. There we go. Still didn't get it right. Now I have successfully typed it. Yay. Okay. And then I can view my physical volumes and see which ones are associated with the volume group. Okay. Now at this point, our, um, our logical volume is created. Now, it's just like adding another hard drive in. So if I add another hard drive in without logical volume management, but I just added in as a standard volume, I have to um, 
create the partition on it, and then I have to format that partition and then mount that partition. Now at this point, I have created the logical volume, which is basically in our previous example would be similar to doing the partition. Now I need to format and then mount that logical volume. But since we're already at the 10 minute mark, I'm gonna cover that in the next video.